Blessings, I'm counting blessings, no I ain't stressing Weapon, though where my weapon, I'll be in heaven Stressing, no I ain't stressing, it was a lesson Best friend, got you my best friend, got you my best friend When he left me, thought I was so lonely But God never left me on my lonely Pray for loving, he really had shown me Gotta praise him cause he really holy Gotta go ahead and give him the glory I'll for me, good, follow my story, yeah God, I need you, I can't do this on my own Show me mercy, all the nights I did wrong And I know the enemy want me gone But I know that church still on the throne Close to the broken heart, you don't wanna see us fall Never left me from the start, I was moving fast like a shooting star And I know that you'll never leave nor forsake me I know that you're the creator that made me Blessings, I'm counting blessings, no I ain't stressing Weapon, the where my weapon, I'll be in heaven Stressing, no I ain't stressing, it was a lesson Best friend, got you my best friend Got you my best friend When he left me, thought I was so lonely But God never left me on my lonely Pray for loving, he really had shown me Gotta praise him cause he really holy Gotta go ahead and give him the glory I'll for me, go follow my story Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Sorry, you by my side I know I'm chosen Lie, your word don't lie Hey, I know that fight I'm in a fight I'm staying focused On the prize Focus on the prize If you didn't know this, yeah Gotta give him all the praise he deserves And I know that it ain't promise But I know I keep on grinding And my dream gon' start aligning And I won't stop cause I'm on my way I just gotta keep on grinding And it's gon' come with perfect timing And in the end I'ma be shining It ain't too far that I'm on my way My grandma always told me just stay prayed up Baby keep your grades up They just keep them cares up Tell me what else could save us I'm chasing something I'm just tryna find a new way that I could better me No, I got that dog inside my bones, I got that pedigree It's times where I be stressing, I'm alone, but I can't let them see Like, I just want my mama straight, I need that Obama cake I just gotta find a way, I don't got no time to wait I've been balling hard, I feel like I don't got opponents I just walk in every single room just like I own And it. that's a bonus, know that I'm the moment They say they need the pieces to the puzzle, I'm the component I don't know that it ain't promise But I know I keep on grinding and I won't stop cause I'm on my way I just gotta keep on grinding And it's gon' come with perfect timing And in the end I'ma be shining and I won't quit cause I'm on my way A2000 
thousand EST O C O E E They said if it don't make dollars it don't make sense They said my time's wasted if I ain't chasing a bag But pops told me never chase nothing Only here to lead lost souls to the kingdom that's facts I only focus on the kingdom and everything else that I need I know it will attract If I lose it all now I know who bring it right back I ain't worried or the clothes or the plaques Even if I ball and count big stacks I will never put that before you know I won't get attached oh, Cause that would never last though You wrapped your arms around me like a lasso You went and painted the picture Picasso Oops, Picasso, you made my heart grow A lesson I learned from the seed is it starts slow Trust me, you gon' see the tree if you look close Don't you know having faith is a substance of things that you don't see but trust me, you gon' see the fruits of your labor Trust in the king and my focus on laser Walking in purpose, I'm blessing on favor I tried to go fall in love with the paper Till you show me love that will never waver No one can give me the food that you cater Tried to move fast and regretted it later Long as I'm focused on you and your truth I know I'll get the fruits of my labor They said if you ain't stacking guap, then you basic Said my time's wasted if I ain't chasing that cash Pop said the first gon' be last You got everything you need right up in the kingdom, that's facts I can teach you how to serve like that uh, Even the king will show love from the front to the back It don't matter what you might lack From the homeless on streets to the ones who got guns in the back Never too great to get back No, it's quick to forget when you love everything that you have No, that will never last though You wrapped your arms around me like a lasso You went and painted the picture Picasso Oops, Picasso, you made my heart grow A lesson I learned from the seed is it starts slow Trust me, you gon' see the tree if you look close Don't you know having faith is a substance of things that you don't see But trust me, you gon' see the fruits of your labor Trust in the king and my focus on laser Walking in purpose, I'm blessing on favor I tried to go fall in love with the paper Till you show me love that will never waver No one can give me the food that you cater Tried to move fast and regretted it later Long as I'm focused on you and your truth I know I'll see the fruits of my labor Trust in the king and my focus on laser Walking in purpose, I'm blessing on favor I tried to go fall in love with the paper Till you show me love that will never waver No one can give me the food that you cater Tried to move fast and regretted it later Long as I'm focused on you and your truth I know I'll see the fruits of my labor A2000 EST OCOE -E. They said if it don't make dollars it don't make sense They said my time's wasted if I ain't chasing a bag But pops told me never chase nothing Only here to lead lost souls to the kingdom that's facts I only focus on the kingdom and everything else that I need I know it will attract If I lose it all now I know who bring it right back I ain't worried about the cards or the clothes or the plaques Even if I ball and count big stacks I will never put that before you know I won't get attached oh, Cause that would never last though You wrapped your arms around me like a lasso You went and painted the picture Picasso Oops Picasso You made my heart grow A lesson I learned from the seed is it starts slow Trust Look, uh, look, and they say Big Four was you scared to make diamonds up out of pressure Put a hundred on their head, it's about time they gotta respect us I really need a ten if I'm signing, ain't nothing less of my mind It gotta be special, my grind is just so excessive uh, They be talking down, but I don't ever let it get to me Came to LSU my freshman year and we made history I was trying to wait and serve the game, they wasn't tipping me Soundtrack of my life and I'm just conducting the symphony Balling this ain't winning, uh, Billy Windows tenant, uh, working on my image, uh, up in my percentage Put the pendant on the trophy, you ain't winning, don't approach me Pull up courtside in the crazy fit, I look like Moki, huh? I just hit a milli, my bank account looking silly I'm hitting them like the Phillies, the coldest flow in the city Like John Morant, I'm like gritty, I've never asked for a penny I'm blocking them like I'm Jenny, ain't no me, man, it's just in me I'm like, get away the hybrid
hibernate, they let the beast outside the cage, ain't try to play, they counting me out, I feel some type of way, keep making up stories, I'm like, which one they gon' write today, keep switching these fours, I'm like, which one I'm gon' like today, on oh God. I've never been there. Never, yeah, I hear be you. Cool. It's a long way from here. It's a very long flight. Very right. long. But uh, maybe we'll take a summer tour there one of these days. The lights are about to come back on, and we are about ready for action here in the Merivit Center. 
as the Tigers uh, coming off of that record-setting win. 89-point win, 133 points against McNeese. I don't know if you could do that every single night, but LSU going to try to handle their business here today. Tigers 10-1, and one, a 10-game winning streak. The Demons 4-5, and five, they lost to Northeastern. Well, that's, I aged myself there to UL Monroe. That used to be Northeastern yes. Louisiana. Back uh, about, I guess, 25 years ago is when they when they made the change from Northeast Louisiana. But ULM has a very good squad this year, and Northwestern State gave them a game for a little while. The, the Indians, I aged myself again. They were the Indians. They're now the Warhawks. Well, you know, what, the I, Warhawks appreciate, pulled away. what I appreciate calling these games with Patrick is the, his knowledge and the history and, <laughs> and, and reminding me, you know, of, Hey, this used to be this, and this is why I changed, and all the good stuff. Well, so. I've got—I'm I'm only 25 <laughs> years behind. I got to catch up with the times a little bit. The ULM Warhawks and the Northwestern State. This should have been a play on. Auburn ball with 5:48 to go. Oddly enough, the next opponent for both teams, Alabama State. USC is going to stay down here and play Alabama State in Montgomery on Tuesday, while Auburn coming up next Friday will host Alabama State right here. The thing about this for USC, the next four games are on the road, uh, including this one at Auburn today, obviously, at Alabama State, at Oregon, and then at Oregon State. So uh, it doesn't get easier, ultimately, for USC. One more. Rebound, batted around out to Poa, right wing Johnson. Thought about the three, decided not to. We'll lob it down instead to Reese. That was a good. They want to get all five players back once they, they take a shot. And they would like to work deep into the shot clock. Last year, Poa has been starting for Van Lith and Angel Reese doing what she does best, and that's cleaning up on the offensive glass. Morrow, another opportunity. Reese again. They are relentless on the offensive boards. They've had two trips down the floor, and now four offensive rebounds. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And this is why the Tigers have been so good this year. Reese and Morrow attacking the offensive glass for the M1. Ayers call for the personal foul, and Angel Reese gets to the free throw line. It is remarkable. She's getting there on average over 10 times per game. LSU leads the entire country. They get to the line about 32 times per game. And we're seeing why. They put pressure on a defense because you you got to play the defense until you get the rebound. And right now the score is Angel Reese 5, Northwestern State nothing. And there's the press. Demon's able to get it across for... Nella Dean with the basketball, one of three demons who were able to graduate and go to the ceremonies on Wednesday. Here's a turnover. Reese up to Williams. Poa unselfishly back to Williams. A little bit too strong. And the rebound taken down now by Ayers, who is originally from Melbourne, Australia. A huge foreign connection for the demons on the roster here. But as you saw, when Northwestern State gets a rebound, they are going to walk it up. They definitely want to control the pace of this game here this afternoon. Yeah, Coach Nam says make it ugly, slow it down, and try to keep LSU somewhat in control. They lead the country in scoring. There's a whistle on the drive by Claudia Johnson. There's Anna Nims. We had a nice chat with her in her fourth season at Northwestern State, a former Pittsburgh State gorilla. She's very proud of that and took the job. She had never even been to the state of Louisiana. It was during the height of COVID. Took the job before she even came to campus. Sight unseen. And then she followed it up with her five starters all committed to her sight unseen. And my response to that was, you must be a heck of a recruiter. <laughs> and she gives a lot of credit to these players who have stuck around. Ms. Johnson gets both of the free throws. Woodson, the leading scorer for Northwestern State, number three in black. Kim Mulkey, 
won her 700th career game in the big win against Virginia Tech. Fastest ever for a man or a woman in college basketball, and there's another turnover. Well, I was eager to see how Northwestern State would respond to the full court press because of their nine games on the season, they had only been pressed 18 possessions. So definitely not something that they've seen a lot throughout the season. They will see 18 at least in the first half, and that's a charge call against Johnson. Well, Coach Nims told us she believes in the defense, and here you see Carmela Dean I mean, moving the feet, getting there first. Good call by the official. Ayers gets the screen, steps around it. Morrow, you see a good job by Northwestern State to get back on defense. And there's another whistle, though, away from the action. Well, that's one thing Northwestern State does not want to do. The off-ball fouls, critical for them today to try to limit the free-throw attempts by LSU. And you're seeing... An out of bounds play here where they usually just like to lob the ball up to Reese because they've got the height advantage. Great tip back to Poa. Worked perfectly. Last year, Poa. Transfer from Northwest Florida State, playing in her second year in Baton Rouge. LSU out to that 9 0 lead. Shot clock again into single digits. Woodson. Their best scorer, and it was just Reese and Morrow under the boards. And we're seeing Northwestern State, all five players, get back and transition defense. No one attacking the offensive glass. Reese was able to collect it and just flipped it in over her head. And there's a kick. As Just great unselfish play by the Tigers. You've got one-on-one -on -one against the matchup zone, and Reese does a great job of presenting herself. Probably even a better shot, of a better job of just the little flip Daisy do to the two. Yeah, Reese off to a great start. Seven points and three rebounds. Here's another takeaway. Johnson back rims it. And Tomboy could not get it cleanly, so LSU with 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Johnson had a double-double when these two teams played last year here in this building. LSU won 100-45. Left wide open. Johnson with the miss. And here we see the walk-up. Well, I think that's a shot LSU's going to get presented a lot tonight because of the matchup zone and how they're so worried about the bigs of LSU. They'll collapse the ball side, leaving weak side open. Another good defensive play by Johnson to force yet another demon turnover. Northwestern State 0 for 4 from the floor and they have, have as many turnovers as shot attempts. We talk a lot about LSU's offense, but I think the defense is a part of the game that we're not talking enough about. Flaje Johnson to me, doesn't get enough credit for her rebounding and defensive prowess for this team. Reese Morrow, hard bounce after the rebound. And this is first points. Last six games, averaging a double-double. Already six offensive rebounds for LSU. Somehow, Northwestern State has got to figure out a way to keep them off the glass. And conversely, find out a way to put the ball in the basket. LSU coming off a record-breaking win in their last game against McNeese State. They won 133-44. to That's an 89-point margin of victory. That is a record. They had a 47-0 run in that game. Right now, we're at 13-zip. It's just remarkable. I mean, this is a team that gets on a roll, and I can't say it enough. These last couple of games, they have started slow, and then they just exploded. Hence why Kim Mulkey said, enough of this. We're going to start off pressing and get ourselves going. Much better start this afternoon. Johnson, with hesitation. Reese all the way across court. And rebound taken down by Ntambwe. Another junior college transfer. Coach Nims loved coaching in junior college, and she says she likes to get JUCO kids on her team. Salaya. 
And now Morrow. Working against Ayers, gets contact, nothing called. <laughs> Anisa Morrow not happy with yes. herself. She expects to make that shot. And the Demons, they run a dribble drive offense. In order to have success in a dribble drive, you've got to be able to get a step on your defender to create some momentum. And that's where LSU has totally taken Northwestern State out of their offense so far here today. Yes. Northwestern State has not seen anything like this defense. Certainly Ayers just continues to fire away. And the first points for Northwestern State come six minutes into the game. What well, started by a backdoor cut, which helped Ayers get open on that weak side. Poa might have gotten away with a walk and then pulled her way into the lane where we hit our first break. Well, LSU's a beast on the glass. This time it's Morrow with the sixth offensive rebound of the quarter for LSU. When is a basketball more than a basketball? When it opens the door. It's thou magic. Double and taro. Oh, na na. Ah. Lord, I just want to thank you. How could I ever reach? I know that it ain't promise, but I know I keep on grinding, and my dream gon' start aligning, and I won't stop cause I'm on my way, I just gotta keep on grinding, and it's gon' come with perfect timing, and in the end I'ma be shining, and I won't quit cause I'm on my way, yeah, and I know my day finna come so I'm just timing it out, I just keep my head up, and I'm just grinding it out, I know what I'm about, but really they just finding it out What come with the rain, the same thing gon' come with the drought I'm playing the game, no sleep, it got me twisting and turning I'm living, I'm learning, feel like I've been preaching a sermon And I thank God, yeah, cause he lead me in the dark, yeah I stay far from him, I don't know what they intentions is I'm really trying to boss up on this move, so it take discipline I'm being consistent this time around, that's what the difference is you because the All-American Angel Reese establishing herself here early. She's done it on the glass. She's done it in the paint. A beautiful assist on the out-of-bounds play. Angel Reese has come to play here this afternoon. She's been active on the offensive end, presenting herself against this matchup zone of Northwestern State. You take a look at Reese's numbers. Again, missing uh, four games earlier in the season. Came back to play against Virginia Tech, where she had 19 points and nine boards. And their next game, what a treat. Angel's going to get back home to Baltimore. They play Coppin State, and then she'll be able to stay home for Christmas. But I would think you talked about slow starts the last couple of games. you think Kim is uh, happy with this start? No. Or less, maybe <laughs> less miserable? Yes, that's a better <laughs> statement. I, I don't think a coach is ever happy unless she sees close to perfection. Uh, I, I do think she's pleased with the effort. I think they've been great on the glass. They've shared the ball. You see players making extra passes giving up good shots for great shots they've run the ball in transition it's what lsu wants to do yeah, they are not particularly shooting well at 33 percent from the floor but have been forcing turnovers lsu one of the best in the country 10th in the nation in forced turnovers and turnover margin and that's continuing this afternoon Well, and for Northwestern to have a, a chance today, we knew they had to take care of the ball. You see here the difference in their wins and losses on the season, as well as the rebound margin. I mean, our game is really simple at times, and it's a possessions game. And that's why LSU excels, because whether it's turning teams over or getting second-chance points, they have so many more opportunities. And so far in this game, Northwestern's had no second-chance opportunities. LSU has been executing well out of bounds. That Second basket for Morrow, who comes out to defend Ayers. Northwestern State, four and five on the season. This is the first ranked team they have played this year. Shot clock into single digits, which is kind of part of the game plan. But Morrow, such a great skill set, a terrific rebounder who can also bring the ball in. Absolutely. And I asked you yesterday, why? 
why the move? And she said, I wanted to be better defensively. And I said, well, honey, your defense is better because your head coach is raving about your ability to defend screen on the balls, which is one of the most difficult things to defend. But Pam, her offensive numbers are so much better. She's so much more efficient right now. Offensive rebounds are the same, which we know was where she made a living at the ball. But she's shooting better from the field. And what I've been amazed with is her versatility when she gets the ball. She can shoot with either hand, go over either shoulder, and she can go off either foot to finish. She was so terrific playing for Doug Bruno at the ball. 26 points per game last year. And there was a foul now that will send Northwestern State to the free throw line for the first time this afternoon. Morrow wanted that challenge. She said, she told Kim Mulkey, I want, when they won the championship, I want to know that feeling. Mm -hmm. Things have worked out so far for her at LSU. And Tom Boy at the line. We remind you Thursday night, we have a men's doubleheader on the SEC Network. Arkansas hosts our Abilene Christian. And then from right here in this building, it's LSU Lamar. Coverage starts at 7 Eastern, 6 Central Time on Thursday night. We are one week away from Christmas Eve. Don't get me started. I've got, I've got no shopping. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that work by Flaugre Johnson. Flaugre Johnson is so underrated because she can knock it down for deep and she can blow right by you. She is so smooth with a ball in her hands. That's two fouls now on airs. Johnson, the SEC freshman of the year last season, started every game and is already off to a great professional career in the music business. Pam Ward was beating some of those raps here pregame. One, one of the fans who <laughs> love, love Jay-Z's Rock Nation. Uh, she is a terrific basketball player, too. A, a terrific young lady. I mean, the coaching staff raves about her, watches film of Bob Starkey every day because she just wants to be better. Woodson with the miss. Great hustle by Reese to save it right in front of her own bench. Poa back tomorrow. Love Angel Reese. She's got her hands up all the time and then shakes her hand when they, she wants them to move on. Well, that's what a good low post player should do, and that's what a good guard should do. That's dirty. Johnson with another highlight reel move. Another turnover. Now Williams with the miss. Morrow able to get the rebound, but couldn't get the shot in, even though there was some contact. Well, I love coming down the floor. Angel Reese was clapping to Michaela Williams, saying, you got this. It was a good shot. And then a travel call on yet another turnover. But at least it's a dead ball turnover, which prevents LSU from getting out in transition. And, and hats off to last year, Poa, so far. She's done a great job of pushing pace while we know Northwestern's trying to, or Northwestern State is trying to slow this game down. And again, uh, Poa getting the start. Haley Van Lith missing her third straight game with plantar fasciitis. You know, some people might be wondering, you're up so big, why is this the first substitution for Kim Mulkey and LSU? But I really think she is truly building towards SEC play right now, making players play longer runs because she wants them to make sure they've got their legs under them when it gets to the meat of the season. Hoa with the miss. And it's Leah Del Rosario who came in, and boy, is another freshman who is making a big impact. She's coming off a career-high 27 points against McNeese. Had a double-double. You can't say enough about the game of Del Rosario so far. I don't know that in my career as a coach or now doing this, that I've ever seen a player body start to transform in season. The way I have with her in the last month was coming off an ankle surgery throughout the summer. Started with this team, really, when they started practicing this fall. And so she's been working her way into playing shape. And you're seeing it in terms of her production. As we approach 30 seconds to go in this first quarter, dominated by LSU. Of 
Dixon getting it over to Woodson, who had a little bit of daylight and buried it. I want to welcome those of you now on ESPN joining us after you watched USC and Auburn play basketball. Pam Ward and Christy Thomas-Scuddy at LSU just as the first quarter comes to a close. LSU leading it 19-6 to over Northwestern State, a team that plays about three hours away in Natchitoches, Louisiana. And... And if you are just joining us, this is what you missed in the first quarter. A lot of LSU. Well, as we've grown to expect, Kim Mulkey has her team Bring, ready to play. And she started brings this, the sparkles. <laughs> absolutely. And they started the game in a press, and they started on a tear. They were beast on the glass. Seven offensive rebounds in that first quarter. Angel Reese was active offensively. She moved around against the matchup zone, getting seals, telling teammates where she wanted the ball. LSU has been so good in the paint, whether with their bigs or with their guards, getting downhill and getting to the rim. And yep, Pam and Christy uh, joining you. And this is uh, the third straight game they played a team from the state of Louisiana. We talked to Kim Mulkey before the game. And it, it's definitely there's a there's a method to what's going on as they get ready for January. Well, Kim Mulkey said, when I came to LSU, I want it to be good for the state. That's why she's playing all the in-state teams that she is. But she made no puns about it. She said, we're focused on ourselves right now. We know what's coming ahead in the new year with the SEC play. She said, so no disrespect to Northwestern or anyone else, but it is about right now, without school in session, us getting better. And she said she didn't even watch the tape from their last game against McNeese State. Today's Need to Know, brought to you by USPS Ground Advantage, is that Haley Van Lith, the Louisville transfer is out for her third straight game, plantar fasciitis. And that's your point guard. Everything goes through her. And Haley Van Lith was really adjusting to this system under Kim Mulkey and being a true point guard. And so this, these are valuable games and minutes that she's missing. But I think for this team, with all the players in and out of the lineup due to injuries, due to missing action, that this is a loss for them. And Kim Mulkey was honest about it. She said, I think January will be key for us when we get Haley back, finally, and in a routine. How will we adjust to playing together? January 4th, they host Missouri. That starts off their SEC season. And this is a recap of the first quarter. Neither team shooting the ball particularly well. Angel Reese was off to a great start. Plus Jay Johnson had some terrific drives to the basket. How about paint points? LSU 16, Northwestern State nothing. Well, it's what you expect from an LSU team. I mean, LSU came in today averaging 49 paint points a game, and they are bigger player for player in this matchup here this afternoon. And, Pam, to your point about Flazay Johnson, there are points, and then – there are Hollywood points, right. and that's what we've seen from Flange in the first yeah. quarter. If you could give her some style points, she would uh, certainly be off the charts. Kim Mulkey's team has won 10 straight. It's Flange getting a, a rest as we start the second quarter. They lost that first game to Colorado out in Las Vegas, and since then, 10 straight wins, the biggest of which coming against number nine, Virginia Tech. They got off to a relatively slow start there and then ran away with it. And that's what we've seen from this team. That's why... I love the fact that Kim Mulkey said, we're just going to start off pressing. This is about us, and we've got to get going from the tip. And it worked out for them as Northwestern State has been struggling just to get shots off. They play in the Southland Conference. Woodson has got a good handle. She's their leading scorer. Now inside to Todd, who might have gotten away with an extra step or two. And then a foul. I think they're going to get Del Rosario for that. I'm laughing because Del Rosario from the floor just looks at the official like, me? No way. Our officials, Brian Garland, Timothy Green, Tony Petillo, Kim Grease. But that should not have been a call. Del Rosario at 6'6", just a true freshman. Another good freshman class coming in for the national champs. Well, Kim Mulkey said she's really important because she's truly our only back to the basket players you see her pull down another rebound she said she told her this is going to be the most difficult year of her life that has been impressed as you mentioned had that surgery to clean up an ankle issue and has been getting herself into shape 
as the season has gone along. She wasn't able to do much after the ankle surgery. Celaya over to Woodson. Celaya has really focused on boxing out on the defensive end. Unfortunate part is she's just undersized, so they've still been able to get offensive rebounds over her, but not that time. Celaya at 5'11". LSU doing a great job of that screen on the ball defense so far. Good box out by Michaela Williams, one of the best freshmen in the country. And Velez. Underneath, turn around off the mark for Amani Bartlett. So Kim Mulkey is going to get some of her starters back in with the next opportunity. I think it's really key for Woodson to somehow try to get a step on her defender. This is what's really stagnating the offense so far for Northwestern State. And you see the hard hedge out on the on-ball screen. Velez got a hand on it to force another Demon turnover. So Rosario hustles to try to get the rebound, but can't grab it inbounds. Reese, Morrow, and Poa all coming back in for the Tigers. Third straight game, and it's overall against teams from the great state of Louisiana, including the exhibition against Loyola of New Orleans. And that McNeese State game, that's an 89-point win. That is a new LSU record. The 133 points, also the most they've ever scored in a game. Well, and they hit the 100 point in the third quarter. So it never was in question, are they going to hit the 100 again? Yeah. It, it, but what's more remarkable was just that second quarter when they completely – Picked up defensively and forced McNeese into turnovers and held them scoreless. They went on a 47-0 run, LSU, in that game. Shot clock not in time with the shot was Woodson. Another good defensive possession. That's 10 turnovers now against the Demons. Well, it, I talked about the inability to get the dribble drive going and get anything off the screen on the ball for Northwestern State. But the other part of it is just any kind of momentum. Like they, they've gotten a couple of stops. They haven't been able to finish the possession consistently with the box out. And Reese boxed out, but they're going to get Celaya Sol for that call. I don't know. I, I've seen more physical box outs from her earlier in the game. So that's a tough one. And there is Anna Nims in her fourth year at Northwestern State. And wants her parents, Chuck and Linda, to know she's thinking of them. She loves them, even though her dad might be watching the Chiefs right now. No way. Daddy's love. He's watching the <laughs> little girl. There's Angel. That double stack on the out-of-bounds play for LSU is so difficult to defend with Morrow and Reese because they have a lot of options to run. But depending on how you face up to defend, they know how to pick it apart. Frierson draws contact. That's going to be a foul on Janae Kent, a freshman. Morrow with the miss, and who is there but her teammate once again. And watch how Reese knows how to push a defender under the rim so that she's got the advantage to pull that offensive rebound down and score. Only Sylvia Fowles has more double-doubles in the history of LSU basketball. And remember, this is just Angel's second year here, so that's really scary. So one of the all-time greats as a human being and as a basketball player. Hope she's enjoying retirement. Oh, Nisa Morrow gets the block and then picks it up. Well, Pam gets the block and then starts the break herself. That's the thing about LSU. All five players on the floor can get out and run. And all five players on the floor touch the ball in that possession, but the shot was off the mark by Williams, who is 0 for 7. Very uncharacteristic. Morrow went for the block, but instead is whistled for the foul. Great unselfish pass there, but even better job by Jordan Todd running the floor to get the ball and draw that foul. Morrow's first personal foul. As Anna Nims does some coaching over on the sideline. Jordan Todd, senior from Alaska, 
among those who graduated on Wednesday heads to the free throw line. Coming up Saturday, men's basketball, the Alabama Crimson Tide can take on Eastern Kentucky in beautiful Tuscaloosa. Coverage begins at 4 Eastern on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. That one just rolls off for Todd. A lot of excitement going on in Tuscaloosa right now. I think there's a football game coming up. I think there's a big game coming up on the 31st. <laughs> I'm sorry, January 1st. I know, I know an Alabama person who's very excited. Very we don't fun. say that in these parts. No, no. <laughs> and a, a good win today for the Alabama women's basketball team, too. Absolutely. I think every head coach will tell you right now, with finals done, yeah. with holiday break right on the cusp, they're always worried about the focus of a team. And I, I was really impressed that Alabama came out against a much improved ULM team and got the W. Pam, one thing I think Anna Nims has got to be extremely pleased about, as Del Rosario got away with a the hook there, is they have given up zero transition points to LSU so far in this game. And, and honestly, she knew they were overmatched. And so I think you're looking for little victories. And so far, I've been very impressed with the transition defense of the Demons. And coming in, a team like Northwestern State, you know, knowing what they're going up against. And remember, they did play them here last year as well. That's another foul, this time on Frierson out on the perimeter. But just, uh, and she loves this team. Coach Nims talks about the players, uh, the, the dedication, all of the uh, the ones who are, have been with her for their third year. All of them came, including the coach, without even seeing the campus. And they signed on to this program and they have persevered going through some rocky times. But she says they're dedicated and they're. Uh, Excited to come in here and play. Well, Frierson's definitely excited to play some defense. She's <laughs> getting up and getting physical. I, I definitely agree with that call, though. Yeah, it's two quick ones on Frierson who will exit. Mia Hardison comes into the game. She's a native of Natchitoches and has some ties to Kim Mulkey. Getting that later in the game. Dixon working so hard down low against Del Rosario to make sure she has position. Three-second violation, so the ball turns over to Northwestern State. Eleventh turnover now for the Demons. LSU committed that Clear last screen. turnover. And honestly, right now, attention to detail in the scout by LSU. That's Bob Starkey, the associate head coach for LSU through and through. We can talk about being overmatched, being taller, whatever, different leagues. It doesn't matter. LSU is very focused right now on this game and attention to detail. Yes, yeah, so that's the 12th turnover. Reese left open just for a second. That's all it takes. And Reese now into double figures. Working on another double-double. Lisa Morrow, by the way, already has 10 rebounds for LSU. You sound surprised. Yeah. She has certainly become just another force for this ball club. Tried to get the steal. That left airs open. She hits her second three of the game. Morrow draws some contact. Angel Reed already up to 11 points. She is so good. Just quick up and in for LSU. And then the answer by Sharna Ayers with a three. I'm counting blessings, no I ain't stressing Weapon, the word my weapon, I'll be in heaven Stressing, no I ain't stressing, it was a lesson Best friend, got you my best friend, got you my best friend When he left me, thought I was so lonely But God never left me on my lonely Pray for loving, he really had shown me Gotta praise him cause he really holy Gotta go ahead and give him the glory I'll follow me, follow my story Yeah, 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 yeah 
God, I need you, I can't do this on my own Show me mercy, all on nice, I did wrong And I know the enemy want me gone But I know that church still on the throne Close to the broken heart, you don't wanna see us fall Never left me from the start, I was moving fast like a shoe and star And I know that you'll never leave nor forsake me I know that you're the creator that made me Blessings, I'm counting blessings, no I ain't stressing Weapon, the word my weapon, I'll be in heaven Stressing, no I ain't stressing, it was a lesson Best friend, got you my best friend, got you my best friend When he left me, thought I was so lonely But God never left me on my lonely Pray for loving, he really had shown me Gotta praise him cause he really holy Gotta go ahead and give him the glory First, second game played for as a Trojan show you how he did take you around the SEC women's basketball. What's your take on LSU to this point? I, I love the way they started this game. Full court pressure. Already have seven steals. And Angel Reese. I mean, what's more to what can you not love about I it? I don't know. It's a great question. Pam and Christy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dari and Steffi. And yes, uh, Angel Reese, five of seven from the floor. She's really the only one, though, shooting it well. They've had some troubles, though, this season. A little drama. Your non-conference season's all about creating chemistry, creating momentum, and this is what's been hard for LSU. The opening day loss to Colorado, which I don't think is a bad loss, because Colorado will be a high seed in the tournament. But then Angel Reese misses four games. Samaya Smith, which I don't think we can stress enough of what a big blow this is for the Tigers. One of the best posts in the SEC, out for the season with a knee injury. And then just last week, we're told Kateri Poole is no longer with the team. And now Haley Van Lith is also out. And so, it, again, it's how do you develop that chemistry from top to bottom throughout your lineup with so many players in and out of the lineup? We asked Kim Mulkey about that pregame, and she's very proud of this team. She says it hasn't phased them. She thinks they're piecing things together very well. She said they just want to go out and play <laughs> basketball. And, you know, she has uh, said that Angel Reese and Anissa Morrow learning to play well together. And quite frankly, with Angel Reese missing four games, that gave Morrow a chance kind of to, you know, to, to maybe, you know, have more time, more room on the floor. And she has flourished since then and now even with, uh, with Angel back. Well, the numbers don't lie for Anissa Morrow. And when I asked her about it, she said, I just needed the opportunity. Beginning of the season, Samaya Smith was starting. Morrow was coming in off the bench with the injury. Morrow getting more minutes, and she has made the most of it. Her numbers in the last six games, almost doubling from points and rebounds. And averaging a double-double, as you see in the last six games. 13th turnover now for Northwestern State. And so far today, 10 rebounds and 6 points for the DePaul transfer. Underneath, how did that pass find Reese? Give last year Poa all the credit for delivering that ball to Reese down low. But that's the pressure this offense puts on you because you got shooters around the perimeter and Dixon's cheating out a little bit because there's a shooter in the corner and that leaves Reese open. Well, LSU now with a 20-point advantage with four minutes left to go in the half. They're scoring well out, out of bounds. Well, LSU defense from the full-court pressure. Last year, Poa with the steal. Easy feed for Morrow for the easy two. So last year, Poa now getting the start with... Haley Van Lith out with the foot injury, her second year here in Baton Rouge, a couple of years at Northwest Florida State, and she's had a couple of sweet passes so far this afternoon. Now, LSU, they're on a 6 nothing run now, but they're only shooting 34% for this game, which is very uncharacteristic for the nation's highest scoring team. Well, I give Northwestern State credit for that, the matchup zone. And everybody will use their matchup zones differently, and I think that's taking some of the flow out of this half-court offense for LSU. But I want to go back to last year, Poa. She is the glue defensively for this team. Already 14 charges that she's taken here early on the season. And once again, now you're seeing a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one by LSU out of the timeout. Northwestern State just got it over the half-court line in time. Good defense. Bottled up Salaya, and that's going to result in another turnover. Well, that was a great backdoor cut 
by Zelaya. The problem was you had two six-foot-plus players rotating over, which is why she killed her dribble, and she had nowhere to go. Three turnovers in less than a minute now for the Demons. Tough pass. Zelaya is able to come up with it, but then is surrounded by Morrow and Reese. Hardison comes away with it. Woodson inside. They have not been able to get much going in the paint, but that worked for Ntambwe. Jenny Ntambwe is running the floor, and she gets the defender to get vertical, and she just powers it up for the and one. She will head to the free throw line. Those are the first two paint points of the game for the Demons. Ntambwe, a sophomore. Coon Rapids, Minnesota, another junior college transfer. As we saw Coach Nims, and Tomboy was all by herself. Coach Nims had her, the all four other players huddled up. Well, it's interesting because earlier on the last free throw, there were players on the free throw line, and I wondered why are they on there if they're not going to offensive rebound. So I think now it's just using it as a pseudo timeout with, with yeah. the other four players. Ayers took it away on one end. Rebound by Williams. Michaela Williams has not scored in this game and is 0 for 7 from the floor. And Tomboy gambled and got called for the foul. I think Jenny and Tomboy has a huge upside for Northwestern State. So athletic, has been one of the more consistent post players despite coming off the bench. You see her athleticism unfortunately gets called for that foul. Angel Reese Just her second free throw attempt of this game. Wednesday is signing day. Alyssa Lang, Roman Harper, and our ESPN National Recruiting Coordinator, Greg Hobart. Wall-to-wall coverage of every SEC school, noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. Three hours on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. Football fans, that's probably not enough. Well, I drove on the campus yesterday <laughs> from their practice, and there were like 30 Denali's lined up. And I was like, oh, yeah, huge recruiting weekend. Yes. National signing day coming up. As we approach two and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Here's inside. Has it trickle off. Angel Reese gets another rebound, her seventh of the game. Well, that was great execution off the flex screen. Unfortunately, Ayers couldn't finish. Another foul on Ntungwe. <laughs> Tomboy, who's given them some good minutes, heads out. Jordan Todd comes back in. She checked that that's three fouls on in Tomboy, so she's at the line. And here's Del Rosario coming off a 27.10 rebound game against McNeese State. Talked about how she is coming back from offseason foot surgery, and she has not scored yet in this game. I just think it's a matter of time. This young lady's footwork has improved so much, just even over the last month of gameplay. And with her height advantage, I expect the ball, her to get touches down low and even get her first field goal as well. And she is a true freshman, but certainly doesn't look like one physically on the floor. But Pam, I always say the two hardest positions in the game to transition from high school, point guard and post player. And you see the numbers of what Aaliyah Del Rosario did against McNeese earlier this week. I mean, she was, just, I mean, it was in limited minutes as well. I should probably preface that for all the points on the board. But credit her teammates. They knew she had the advantage and they were getting her the ball. That's her first career double double. And she gets fouled and will head right back to the free throw line. So far in this game, LSU, 7 of 10 from the line. Jordan Todd picked up her second foul of the game. Rosario gets them both. 
And then the pressure off the made free throw. And kick. One thing against this one, two, one, one, you do not want to catch the ball near the baseline. It's just too easy to be trapped. And some speed from Woodson. Gets it over the half court line inside two minutes to go in the first half. Todd guarded by Del Rosario. There's Ayers, her three point threat, but Reese got out there to mess it up and then hustled in to get the rebound. Well, credit Del Rosario as well for really trying to flag at Ayers on that shot to disrupt. Maybe a little bit too much zip on that pass from Reese trying to get it to Del Rosario. Only the fifth turnover for LSU. And boy, what a future for the, the freshman from the Dominican Republic. I give her a lot of credit. Nate, the USA basketball team was selected and said, unfortunately, no, I can't attend because she knew she needed to get her ankle taken care of. She could have played through it, but she would have been limited all season long. So instead, made the commitment to clean it up so that she had a solid base to really start to transform her body and elevate her game. And it certainly has paid off for getting onto campus. Shot clock into single digits, which has been the norm for the Demons. Woodson, Ayers, Reese on the defense. And that's a chancy pass taken away by Woodson. Yeah, you always want to read the defense, not your teammate when you make that long of a pass. Ayers with another miss. She does have a couple of threes this afternoon. Great high-low action. Yeah. Three sent to Del Rosario and another whistle. Yeah, so you foul on Dixon, pardon me. Sorry, you mentioned Mc, Mc, Caleb Williams has not scored yet, but I think this is just a high basketball QI player who's not forcing the action. They know they have the advantage in the paint, so she's giving up shots to try to get the ball down low for better shot opportunities. Del Rosario back at the free throw line. Coming in just 56% on the season from the charity stripe, but it's four or five so far. And no team in the entire United States of America gets to the line more than LSU in D1. Well, Pam, 51% of their total points are coming from the free throw line this season. I'm sorry, are coming from the paint. And then as a team, they are getting almost 20% of the points from the free throw line. That's high percentage, yeah. plain and simple. And averaging over 96 points per game. Down in this one, at percentage-wise, only 33% from the floor. That's nailed from the outside by Hardison. Poa. With time running out, she's going to throw it up. And LSU takes a 34-15 lead into the locker room. Angel Reese leading away with 14 points. Anissa Morrow has 10 rebounds. Time to get to the studio with Dari Noka and Steffi Sorensen. All right, Pam and Christy, thank you much as we welcome you into the Jeep Halftime Report. Dari, Steffi, and the LSU, Angel Reese. Only player in double figures with 14 to this point. What have you seen from them that impresses you? Well, yeah, I think coming into this game is for Kim Mulkey is finding a consistent uh, roster, a starting lineup, because there have been there have been so many times where there's been holes within their roster. Think about Haley Van Lith has been out. Samaya Smith, that was a big injury for LSU. Angel Reese missing games. So what what were we going to see from LSU? I love the way they started this game. They were forcing turnovers. And I think Angel Reese, she just came to play. I mean, yeah. she's she's just so much fun. The passion with which she plays with. Her, her passing was crisp, and then she's just an offensive rebounding machine her, between her and uh, Anissa Morrow. If you look at them defensively, holding this Northwestern State team to 15 points, what have they done? Is it just size and physicality that Northwestern State can't handle? Just being in the passing lanes, making sure you're, you're uh, attacking uh, uh, defenders and ball pressure and moving on the fly of the ball. I thought that um, they were all in sync 
um, from one to five. And I think Angel Reese was a big part of that as someone who's communicating on that back line and especially on the top of that press that they were running. Right, so a 34-15 uh, lead at the break for you're, LSU. You're kind of She's got her hands up all the time and then shakes her hand when they she wants them to move on. Well, that's what a good low post player should do, and that's what a good guard should do. That's dirty. Right in front of her own bench. Poa, back tomorrow. Love Angel Reese. She's got her hands up all the time and then shakes her hand when they she wants them to move on. Well, that's what a good low post player should do, and that's what a good guard should do. That's dirty. Right.
this life is full of pain This love going with the hurt, I think it's strange It's hard to get these demons out my brain I'm trying to fall in love right now, I can't I'm trying to keep precision with my aim The way that I do it, I ain't capping, I walk it, I'm getting into it I'm giving my all and it come with the music, I'm going, I'm hungry, I'm eager to do it You my lover, I gotta pursue it, I came out of beats, okay Any lane that I need, I take, keep saying you'll leave, I stay Keep playing, it'll be too late, yeah Say it's wrong, but this feeling's alright Did you hear to the end of the night? And you left, would you still wanna fight? I keep seeing the end of the life I'm living and this life is full of pain This love going with the hurt, I think it's strange It's hard to get these demons out my brain I'm trying to fall in love right now, I can't But it's gon' come full circle I ain't need me to try to hurt you Five on my shoes and my jeans from purple Outfit came from Virgil Can't get mad when you say I ain't working I'll forever search you Don't you let them curse you Don't you let them work you What's with it, what's with it is, what it is Don't let them work you like a gym Too real like Tupac up by the rim All this morning, yeah, I'm out I want all this more like that Try to save a war, yeah So why would you walk away? Like I was running, yeah I'm to your love like Nova yeah. If I knew your heart was cold, I wouldn't never give you my chance I'm just, I'm just, I'm just living in this life full of pain In my head ain't right, call check my brain I'm living in this life, is full of pain This love going with the hurt, I think it's strange It's hard to get these demons out my brain I'm trying to fall in love right now, I can't Karma is gonna come full circle I ain't need me trying to hurt you Five on my shoes and my jeans from purple Outfit came from purple Can't get mad when you say I ain't worth you I'm forever searching Don't you let them curse you Don't you let them work you Karma is gonna come full circle I ain't need me trying to hurt you Five on my shoes and my jeans from purple Outfit came from purple Can't get mad when you say I ain't worth you I'm forever searching Don't you let them curse you Don't you let them work you And I know that it ain't promise But I know I keep on grinding And my dream gon' start a blinding And I won't stop cause I'm on my way I just gotta keep on grinding And it's gon' come with perfect timing And in the end I'ma be shining It ain't too far that I'm on my way My grandma always told me just stay prayed up Baby keep your grades up They just keep them K's up Tell me what else could say I got that 
had a grief It's times where I be stressed and I'm alone But I can't let them see like I just want my mama straight I need that Obama cake I just gotta find a way I don't got no time to wait up I've been ballin' hard I feel like I don't got opponents I just walk in every single room Just like I own And that's a bonus Know that I'm the moment They say they need the pieces to the puzzle I'm the component I know that it ain't promise But I know I keep on grindin' And my dream gon' start alive First person shooter mode, we turning your son to a funeral. So the just say they gon' office, you better be talking about working in cubicles. Yeah, them boys had a lot, but I knew the code. A lot of debate in my numero. Not the three, not the two, I'm the you and no. Yeah. Numero, you and no. Me and Jizzy the like the Super Bowl, man. It, then it big as the the Super Bowl, but the difference is it's just two guys playing th that they did in the studio. Usually send they verses back to me and they be terrible just like a two-year-old. I love a dinner with some fine women when they start debating about who the gold. I'm like, go ahead, say it then. Who the gold? Who the gold? Who the gold? Who the gold? Who you really rooting for? Like a kid that had bad from January to November. It's just you and Cole. Biggest what? Super Bowl. Thirsty to put me in beef. I set in my words and start looking too deep. I look at the tweets and start sucking my teeth. I'm letting it rock cause I love the mystique. I still wanna give me a song where I be. Can't trust everything that you saw on IG. Just know if I diss you, I make sure you know that I hit you like I'm on your call ID. I'm naming the album to fall off. It's pretty ironic cause it ain't no fall off for me. Still in this getting bigger. They waiting on the kid to come drop like a father to be. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is it K Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? We the big three like we started a league. But right now I feel like my Muhammad Ali <laughs> Yeah, Muhammad Ali The one that they call when they, they connecting no more Feel like I got a job in IT Rhyming with me is the biggest mistake The Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake It's like we recruited your homies to be demon deacons We got them attending your wake Hey, how the gang got away from the bars Man, it like a prison escape Everybody step is with And everybody breakfast And I'm about to clear up my plate <laughs> When I show up, it's motion picture, blockbuster The goat with the golden pen, the top toucher The spot rusher, spray the toe up, the crop duster Not rusher, but apply pressure to your cranium Cold's automatic when aiming on With the boy in the status of stadium Hey, I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to yeah. Yeah. I'm about to click, I don't need I'm about to click, whoa I'm about to click, I don't need I'm about to click, whoa I'm down to click, I don't you Make a crime scene I click the trigger on a stick like a high beam And I would barely wear a when I was 19 She called my number, leave her hanging, she got dry clean She got an Android, her messages is lime green I search one name and end up seeing 20 teens Nadine, Christine, Justine, Kathleen, Charlene, Pauline, Claudine. Man, I pack them in this phone like some sardines. And they send me naked pictures. It's the small things. Still taking pictures. Cam Ward and uh, Christy Thomas Cuddy joining you this afternoon. LSU not scoring a lot of points like we're used to seeing, but we're seeing the Angel Reese we're used to seeing. Absolutely. Took her a little bit of time to really get going, but she's been so active offensively against the matchup zone for the better part of the game. She's presented herself, and her teammates have found her sneaking behind the zone, presenting herself, a little flip that was just great touch around the rim. Her ability to seal a defender to get the O board and put back, and then honestly, just her physicality down low to power it up through contact. She was really good in the first half. Angel Reese. Six of eight from the floor, but it's the other post players. Again, this is a team that's only shooting 32% from the floor, which is way low for them, and uh, they, they've missed some opportunities. Absolutely. They have the height advantage. They've got the size advantage. Three of 12 for the other three posts for LSU, and I just got to remind you, LSU came into this game averaging 49 points in the paint, more than half of their points on the season. 
They have 24 in the paint so far. They've not been taking advantage. Uh, Northwestern State has turned the ball over 16 times, and LSU has only converted that into 10 points. Anissa Morrow has been terrific. She is two points away from what would be her sixth straight double-double, and Paul J. Johnson with some flair in that first half. But, yeah, Northwestern State coming in 4-5 and five on the year. And a big task in front of them. They have been fouling quite a bit. But LSU went the last four minutes of that first half with zero field goals. Well, based on the execution in the first play of the half, I think they really talked about zone offense because you saw far reversal, and Angel Reese immediately sealed the middle, and she was able to draw the foul. Dixon just picked up her third personal foul. She did not score in the first half, and more contact underneath. That's two quick ones on Dixon, and anticipate her coming out, and she will. She's got four personals, two of them. She picked up in the first nine seconds of this third quarter. And I love that she's just laughing about it because that was a key for Northwestern State to try to limit the free throw opportunities of LSU in this game, and already this will be the 15th opportunity for the Tigers. Angel Reese only took Three free throws in the first half, well below her average. She knocks down the first couple here in the third quarter, and this is pressure. Kim Mulkey started the game with it and has continued with it off the, the makes with some full-court pressure. She was not happy with their starts the last couple of games. They came out of the gate quickly today, but their offense has been rather stagnant. I think fans focus on scores. Coaches focus on what might beat you. And Kim Mulkey and her staff knew the slow starts were something they needed to clean up. Ten wins in a row since the opening day loss to Colorado for LSU. They were number one in the preseason, now seventh in the AP poll. Air scouted by Morrow. With a good screen by Ntongwe. And I love that Ayers was patient coming off that on-ball screen until she got the distance she needed to get that shot off. Morrow turnaround. Woodson streaks up court. Dean didn't even think about looking for a shot. Ayers will shoot that all day. Had a couple of threes in the first half. That one missed. Johnson, unable to get that to fall. Woodson, who Coach Nim says always has the green light, instead passed up the three-point shot. Shauna Ayers, number 35 in black for Northwestern State, originally from Melbourne, Australia. Had a stop here at LSU. That's a travel by Poa. Another Australian. Another Australian, year, Poa, right? Yeah. Both of them from Melbourne. Did not play for Marquette and then played in nine games for LSU and has been at Northwestern State now. This is her third school, second year at Northwestern State. And is there a three-point threat? Graduated on Wednesday along with a couple of other teammates, all three with psychology degrees. Which means that they know how to handle their teammates yes. <laughs> and one another. A lot of stuff going on at that age. The uh, LSU bench, including Kim Mulkey, were all going crazy because they thought that was a 10-second violation that wasn't called. And congratulations. This is a, a big deal. Carmela Dean. Giselle Woodson, Jordan Todd, you see, uh, Coach Nims over there on the right, all being able to walk to in their graduating ceremony on Wednesday. It's what it's all about. Yep. And Coach Nims very proud of this group that has been with her for the last three years. And Tomboy, just a sophomore, her first year on campus, she started at Moberly Area Community College in Missouri. It's a really good junior college yeah. program. And Coach Nims likes Juco kids. She has a big background herself coaching there. This is her first head coaching job in Division One. 
That was a lot going on for Williams, and they got her for the travel. Michaela Williams is a brilliant freshman, but today she is 0 for 7 from the floor. I think that's just a freshman sometimes. I mean, I think that's what everyone strives is that consistency. And, and I can't say this enough. So much of LSU's game coming into today has been transition game. Hats off to Northwestern State for establishing the tempo of this game and limiting LSU in transition. That was the game plan, sending all five players back on a shot. And it has kept the score low. And Tomway celebrates with another basket. Reese wants the basketball. Got a little shove in the back that wasn't noticed. That was another thing that you see opponents do, get a little physical. Try to test the waters to see what you can get away with. Based on the fouls for Northwestern State's bigs, I don't think they're getting away with anything today. <laughs> that was a block by Morrow, but on the other end. Speaking of the bigs for Northwestern State, this is where Tomboy is so good. She's so quick. And you see a fire in this young yeah. lady's belly. She has been battling throughout this game. She is from Minnesota. Ayers guarded by Williams. Oh, Tomboy was expecting that pass. Reese able just to get her hands on it. Another double-double, by the way, for Angel Reese. Her fifth of the season and her second in a row. Averaging over 18 points and 10 rebounds on the season. The most outstanding player of the very memorable Final Four. Remember, they were down big in the fourth quarter to Virginia Tech in the national semi. Came back to win and then defeated Iowa in the final. And yes, only Sylvia Fowles has more double-doubles in the history of this program. And Angel's just in her second year down here after transferring from Maryland. Wajay. Last year had a double-double against Northwestern State along with six steals. That time she turned her steal into a bucket. 17-point advantage and another whistle. Plage Johnson, we know that she can drop some beats, but she's even better with a ball in her hand. It's just so smooth. Her, her ability to hang in the air that makes her so dangerous off the bounce. Oh, Plage now with eight points. Dixon just picked up her fourth foul. And another giveaway. 20 turnovers now for Ellis for uh, Northwestern State. Three in the last minute and a half. And another whistle will take Johnson to the free throw line. Pam, one thing I'm seeing at the start of this quarter for LSU is the perimeter players looking to go one on one. So many times against his own offense, you think outside shot or feed the post you're seeing LSU get downhill now off the bounce. Carmella Dean now with three personal fouls. Johnson misses her first. Thursday night, a men's basketball doubleheader on the SEC Network. Arkansas will host Abilene Christian. And then LSU right here in this building takes on Lamar. Doubleheader starts Thursday at 7 Eastern, 6 Central Time. Louisiana in the Central Time Zone. LSU now up by 18 points. That's another turnover. Foot over there on the sideline. 21 giveaways now for this Northwestern State team. LSU forces about 24 per game. That's 10th in the nation. Morrow with the finish. Well, you might be wondering why and how is Morrow so open down low, but that's because Michaela Williams was on the wing. You see Shauna Ayers just kind of start to cheat out. Great read by last year, Poa, and she leads Morrow for that easy two. Yeah, Poa's had a couple of really nice passes in this game. That's not going to work when Angel Reese is on the floor. A little no-looker. Johnson, no-look to Morrow! 
couple of sweet passes for the Tigers. And a timeout with Flair. There are great players on this team, but this team is also very unselfish. Extra pass, extra pass. Two more for the Tigers. The holidays on Dale's farm weren't very festive. <laughs> I did it again. Some players here for Northwestern State. Again, this is a, a team here in Louisiana about three hours away in Natchitoches. Some connections with Louisiana Tech and Coach Mulkey. Uh, I almost feel like the basketball world is always connected with Kim Mulkey when it comes to Louisiana. This is young Kim Mulkey as an assistant coach. And you see Daniel Whitehurst and Chantel Anderson in this photo. These were recruits of Kim Mulkey's when she was an assistant at Louisiana Tech. And we asked Kim Mulkey about them. She just lit up, especially when it came to Chantel Hardison. She said, that was my first All-American recruit. And I was told Kim Mulkey's first camp here at LSU, she walked Chantel around and introduced her to everyone as her first All-American. And Chantel Hardison is the aunt of Mia Hardison, who plays for Northwestern State. Daniel Whitehurst, the mother of Jordan McLemore, who is also on this Demon team. And the connection with Coach Mulkey, where she was a tremendous All-American at Louisiana Tech. Leon Barmore in that photo is the head coach. And there's Chantel's niece, Hardison, getting the basket. And that ends a string of five straight possessions for the Demons in which they turn the ball over. Well, I think for every coach, you want your team to respond out of a timeout. That was a big score by Northwestern State, but even better answer by Morrow. And that sets up the pressure. Both Anissa Morrow and Angel Reese have double-doubles this afternoon. Ayers able to escape Johnson, who is closing in. And now Woodson slows things down. The leading scorer for this team on the season has only two today. There she is. Shot clock. Dying. High degree of difficulty on that shot by Woodson. And like a poet, gets the outlet immediately looking up the floor to pass ahead. And finally, Michaela Williams gets her first points of the afternoon. Averaging 18 and a half per game, second only tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, another double-double for LSU. 
Anissa Morrow. She can face. She can post. She's got great touch around the rim. The story so far this year has been the phenomenal freshman Hannah Hidalgo, Juju Watkins, Talia Scott from Arkansas, and obviously here in Baton Rouge, you got Michaela Williams. It has just been a phenomenal start to the season. I said it's hard for freshmen to transition in, and they're making fools of me so far. Yeah, and Michaela Williams did just get her first basket, but her numbers have been terrific. Field goal percentage of 51% from three. And and she's not just taking a couple. She's averaging two and a half makes per game. And it was interesting when we talked to Coach Mulkey before the game. She said Michaela Williams might be the best player ever to come through here, at least in her position. And that's saying something because there have been, as, as basketball fans know, some great talent coming through Baton Rouge. Absolutely. And the thing that's remarkable to me about Michaela Williams is at home, she's shooting 60% from the field before today. Yes. And then on the road, 42%. I mean, just to shoot 42% in general would be remarkable, but you're seeing just how good and efficient this freshman has been. She is from right here in Louisiana, consensus high school All-American. Reese gets another rebound. Roche Johnson, the SEC Freshman of the Year last year, and Michaela Williams could be on well on her way to being the Freshman of the Year in the conference this year. That one cups out. The thing about Williams' game that's really remarkable to me, and Kim Mulkey agreed when I asked her yesterday, she can get her shot at any time she wants. Her ability to elevate with a jump shot, she is so physically strong. Great from three, great off the bounce, and even better, just creating shots for her teammates as well. The defense by Morrow on that play. Michaela Williams had a 42-point game against Kent State. Most by any LSU freshman in the NCAA era, and she was ridiculously efficient, 15 of 20 from the floor, 42 points. I think it took me like eight games to get 42 <laughs> points as a freshman. Yeah, that's a lot. Morrow, why not? On the outside, a little bit too strong. Reese was fouled on her way to the rebound. And that is the part of Anissa's Morrow that is a little down from a year ago, her three-point shooting. Already now only 3 of 23 from deep early in the season. Yeah, that's in the teens percentage-wise. Last foul on Jordan Todd is her third. 
Johnson gets inside. Well, I'm just going to do a scouting report for anyone for LSU. <laughs> You've got to do your work early if you're going to try to keep the bigs off the glass. You can't be standing next to them. They're too good at going to get the ball at their highest point and not waiting for it. Another rebound for Reese. Poa. A little bit too strong, but gosh, Johnson this time hits the glass. Reese. Reese Johnson. Sorry, Pam. It's just so good at tracking rebounds from one side of the floor to the other. And she earned those two points. Yeah, she certainly did. Hunting down the rebound. Last year's SEC Freshman of the Year into double figures. Third Tiger to get there. Now Williams with the steal and takes it all the way. What a special player in Mulkey found. Poked away by Johnson, but stays with the Demons. It's not just on offense that Michaela Williams can make a difference. She baited Woodson into that pass, shot the gap, and then once again, she was reading the defenders the whole way down the floor, knew her player was her teammate was behind her. That's when she decided to take it up. There's another giveaway. Johnson couldn't hang on to it. Inside, height advantage for Ntomwe, but they couldn't get it into her cleanly with defense by Velez. And then Angel, being Angel. Now a 12 nothing run over the last three and a half minutes for LSU. And a 30-second timeout as we remind you Saturday we have men's basketball coming your way on the SEC Network. In Tuscaloosa, it's Alabama and Eastern Kentucky. Covered starts at 4 Eastern on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. As we all head towards Christmas, again a week from today, Christmas Eve. LSU will go to Baltimore for the game against Coppin State. Angel Reese's homecoming. And that's going to be a huge trip. HBCU team, there's going to be a lot of activity around the campus at Coppin State. Angel McCautry, when she played at Louisville, her she also had an opportunity to go back and play two great Baltimore players, big basketball city, and that's going to be a nice treat for Angel, who well, and I, will just get to stay home for Christmas after that, too. Oh, yeah, she gets an extra day at home, no travel. <laughs> I also appreciate the NCAA allowing Coppin State to make that a play for K yes. game. Yes. Uh, they know they're going to have a huge fan attendance, and it's a great opportunity to continue to support that fun. Absolutely should be there. Biggest attendance of the season. And that's the, I mean, we're seeing it throughout the country, whether it's Iowa or in South Carolina. We're obviously seeing that with LSU. When Kim Mulkey took her team to Southeastern Louisiana earlier this year, their highest attendance game. I have a feeling Coppin State will be the same this week. Here's Baltimore's own Angel Reese on the break. She's got 20 to go along with 13 rebounds. Well, we can talk about the offense. We can talk about the rebounds. But you've seen the on-ball defense, the long arms, the poke, and then just takes it coast to coast. Morrow goes out. Del Rosario, the talented freshman coming in. And Angel Reese with... Get the <laughs> I did it again. Be a ball man, a battle. Hey, we said be a point on it, be a point on it. Look, why you saying we talk it ain't last a week, but you liking my story, you gassing me, are you gonna
on a rapper, be an athlete. If I'm still doing both, why you asking me? Real rich when I shop, I need cash receipts. Wake up and ball, get the cash repeat. Got the city on lock, I been had the key. You can't pay for the feature, don't ask the fee. Do it, I run it up, feel like the renegade. I got a Puma deal, I don't get in the I had to mix up the Sprite with the lemonade. If you try me, they coming, I send the game. I'm not an amateur, know me in camera. I put on drip when they bring out the camera. Red carpet, I'm lit, man, I'm flammable. I keep eating these rappers like cannibal. And I just add it up, ain't no subtraction. Ain't get to the bag enough, ain't no discretion. And you getting mad because ain't no attachment. I want the Billy, I think I'm a mad. I got the water, but I want the pad. They want the smoke, but they don't want the static. They want the issue, I swear you can have it. They know that I miss you, but don't be dramatic. They see it on tape, so they know I'm a killer. I'm going so eight, man, I'm going gorilla. I stay in the veil, man, I'm going gorilla. I'm moving the pieces, I'm going material. And I'm in my own way, I got plenty of options. And they say that I ran, but I really walked it. And they talk on the ground, but they really stalking. And they say they got motion, they just be talking. And I know that they fake, but I got a few real. Got a few NIL, got a few deals. Got a few hummers, man, got a few wheels. It ain't by the number, then I can. They're athletes, and so not surprising at all that winner after winner is coming through this athletic department. Yeah, absolutely. Now a chance, a very rare chance on a breakaway. That's the first two fast break points for Northwestern State here this afternoon. And Dean's first points. And by the way, that three that Williams hit to end the third quarter was the first three made by anybody on LSU. They had missed their first 11 as a team. That one was another miss by Janae Kent. Well, we have talked about how Northwestern State wanted to slow this game down unless they got a run out, and that's what they did off of that steal. Carmela Dunn with the finish. Native of Seattle, Washington, another transfer coming into Northwestern State, now in her third year for the Demons. And the officials say it's coming the other way. So through three quarters in their Record-breaking 133-44 to 44 win against McNeese State. 100 points, just 60 today for LSU. But they did get 26 points in the third quarter. Well, and hats off to Northwestern State defense. I mean, they have stuck to the game plan. They wanted to slow this game down, take the air out. They wanted to make things – I asked Coach Nam. Is there an area you can exploit? She goes, well, as much as LSU's been able to get up and down the floor all season, I think this pace may affect them. And I think hats off to this coaching staff. I thought the game plan was sound. So many times I hear coaches say, we're going to be us. Right. And I think to an extent, Northwestern State has done that. Yet at the same time, they've stuck to a game plan, which final score is not going to show. But hats off, because that is hard to do when player for player, size-wise, and even speed-wise for the most part, you're overmatched. Ayers misses from the outside. Angel Reese back in the game. Williams just rolls her way into the lane and got fouled and hit the deck pretty hard. Well, I mentioned the second half had the perimeter players for LSU has been trying to get downhill, and that's a tough one. I almost thought Todd was there in time. But instead, Jordan Todd... All for the personal foul. Coming up Saturday. Boy, I keep saying Alabama a lot today. The Crimson Tide hosts Eastern Kentucky. Coverage begins at 4 Eastern on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. That is Saturday men's basketball. Williams back at the line. And LSU doing a better job in this second half of converting Northwestern State turnovers into points. Well, a couple of those have been shooting the gaps, allowing them to get out and run. 62 to 28. Reese and Morrill in the game for LSU. We can both be getting some reserves sometime. The Williams comes away with the steal. Reese wanted it, but Williams took it all away. Angel said, all right, I'll get the rebound and the putback. So many times you see posts lag behind in transition because they're not going to get it, but Angel Reese sprints the floor there on the weak side for the easy positioning for the rebound putback. Ryerson picked up her third. Reese gets the three-point play. 
14 rebounds now for Reese. Morrow has 13. What a duo they are for the defending champs. I really wish we could see LSU and Stanford play. To see the, the mm, Giants with and Brink. Both, yes, Brink and Kiki Erie often. I mean, yeah, both Erie those often. young ladies averaging a double double as well. Yeah, very often. What a year she is having. I, I just, that young lady's upside. I don't even think we've seen the extent of it yet. Shot clock dying. They're not going to get a shot off. Good defense, particularly at the end of the possession by Johnson out on the perimeter. And we have talked a lot about the offense. And again, LSU averaging 96 and a half points per game, tops in the nation. But their defense is pretty scary, too. This dribble drive and preparing for today's game, Northwestern State has been able to get downhill so consistently against opponents. And they've played two other Power 5 opponents, so it's not like we're saying against lesser opponents. Their offense has been that good. But that's how good the defense of LSU has been this evening of taking the demons out of it. Johnson with a sweet look into Reese. Northwestern State played at Nebraska and at Kansas to start the season. This is their first ranked team that they have played this year. Actually took the three-hour bus drive from campus this morning. Made a stop at Cracker Barrel, we're told. Johnson off the rim. And then... Big time contact behind the play on Angel Reese. She picks up the foul and subs out for Del Rosario. Reese with 25 points and 14 rebounds. Reese just trying to poke it from behind and gets all ball there. I mean, all player yes. there. Instead, she poked way too much Dean. Previous play is under review. And now the officials will take a look at it as Dean was clutching her mouth when she got up. We will take a timeout in Baton Rouge. Reese says, I didn't mean it, as we take a break.
I, I would like to see it come off now. I mean, we're six minutes to go. Uh, but again, you don't know what they're focused on in practice right now. And I always say that if, unless you're in practice every day, it, it's tough to know what a team is working on and what the coach wants for them. And as we've said all broadcasts, they are building for January. January 25th, they will host South Carolina in this building on ESPN. And shot clock into single digits. Ayers is passing it up. Just getting the shot off well short and another shot clock violation. But Kim Mulkey, before the game, when she was talking uh, to their uh, radio announcer, he was asked about McNeese State, the, the game that they won by 89 points the other day. She said, to, to tell you the truth, we didn't, I didn't even look at the film. She said, right now, we, to go to your point, she said, we are working on us. And she said, this time of year when their, you know, their class is not in session, she said, this is the time of year that they like to teach things. So they're getting a lot done in practice, pushing towards the SEC. Well, I can say from experience, players aren't big fans of this time of year. Coaches are. Because this is the last big stretch, though, you get as coaches before conference play to put in new things, to make adjustments, to get lineups the way you want them, maybe to add new offenses, new out-of-bounds plays, and try to get it all in, and then just get sharp throughout January and February. Kayla Williams back at the free throw line. She was failed by, fouled by errors, pardon me. And there's Haley Van Lith. I'm going to mention she's missing her third straight game, plantar fasciitis. And they're certainly hopeful they can get her back when the calendar turns and the SEC schedule starts. Yeah, absolutely. you got to believe they need their starting point guard back. They need to get reps with her. They need to learn to play together. And, and I can't say this enough, through injury, through players missing games, this team has not been whole consistently throughout the first two months of the season. There is a great look at Haley Van Lith, who was terrific at the University of Louisville, and three years there. Last year, averaged 20 points per game for Jeff Walls' team. Dean heads to the free throw line. <laughs> Wednesday is signing day. That's football, right? Melissa Lang, Roman Harper, Craig Halbert going to have wall-to-wall -wall coverage of every SEC school to see where the nation's top recruits land. Three-hour signing day special starting at noon Eastern, 11 Central on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. That's on Wednesday. Del Rosario with the finish. Great pass by Michaela Williams, leader big, right to the rim. LSU coming out after a slow start with a good second half to extend the lead. Northwestern State has only scored 15 points in the second half. 15 points in 15 minutes. Ayers misses everything. That's an Ayers call. <laughs> Anissa Morrow, wipe it off. That's an offensive foul. And Kim Mulkey is tugging on the sparkly jacket. Not happy. Well, Dean gets back. And I think... Kim Mulkey just got teed up and now tossed from the ball game. Kim Mulkey being held back, as you see, by the staff and now Angel Reese. She flew off the bench and was just incensed by that last call. Well, there are a lot of opinions about Kim Mulkey, but one that is consistent is her passion. And, and you see, not just the technical, but her being ejected from this game. So Kim Mulkey with four minutes and 56 seconds left in the game, her team up by 41, gets the technical foul call. And there she goes. So many of the people giving her a standing ovation for the double technical that got her ejected. Yeah. I mean, obviously the fans are not in agreement whatsoever. They love their head coach. And what I will say is that's an example of it doesn't matter the score. A head coach is still going to fight for a player, is still going to coach 
for her team. And I love Angel Reese's response, going to grab her head coach and saying, it's okay, we got you. Now Dean takes the technical free throw shots. Gets them both. But the technical foul, absolutely, the double technical, the right call. Yes, she's on the court, and that's a point of emphasis this year to enforce the coach's box and keep coaches off the playing field, a playing floor. So the offensive foul on Morrow, airs. This is the free throw, an 80% free throw shooter. Even that young man is upset. <laughs> All age groups upset right now <laughs> in Baton Rouge. But Tim Mulkey ejected for the double technical foul with four minutes and 56 seconds left in this ball game. I mean, what a luxury for LSU, though. Your head coach is ejected, and now Bob Starkey is running the team. Yeah, a lot of experience, including right here at LSU. Dean lost it, but the ball is ruled off of Northwestern State. Uh, the LSU, pardon me. There's Coach Starkey, now the associate head coach in his second year here, but basketball fans know him. Well, he has worked under legendary coaches, Van Chancellor, Gary Blair, the legend here as well. And he has said Kim Mulkey is the best head coach that he has ever worked under. He continues to learn under Kim Mulkey. And that is saying something, as you mentioned, the pedigree of coaches with whom he has worked and sort of known as a defensive coordinator. And again, Kim Mulkey has been ejected from this game for this reaction. That's really brave of the freshman, Michaela Williams, also go <laughs> grab that coach. Yeah, coach Mulkey, no doubt, back. Watching the rest of this game on TV, as we think she would be. Northwestern State's gone almost five and a half minutes now without a field goal. Just too much LSU here in the second half. To be expected. Another block. Del Rosario, a very impressive young freshman herself to go along with Michaela Williams. Both of them on the floor now. Kayla Williams has both of LSU's three-pointers today. She was shut out in the first half, but has come on strong since. Well, throughout the first half, I just knew it was a matter of time. It's not if, but when with this talented freshman. Well, you're right about Jenny Ntabwe. She has shown some flashes of good skill for the Demons. Well, I love that she knows she's undersized, but she's using her foot speed to try to get around and defend the low post. And there's a block. So it comes the other way. Well, and that's what Dixon gives this team. She's great around the rim defensively. She scores mainly on putbacks and dumps. And then on the other end, Del Rosario protecting her own rim. Now a collision at midcourt. Sends Morrow crashing. They're all smiles. Yeah. There's a smile on her face. That's good. And this is a great move. Get Morrow out. The game is well in hand. You, The last thing you want is for something like that to happen that would result in an injury. Absolutely. And the one thing about this LSU team, as talented as they are, they're not that deep in the post now with Samaya Smith going down to injury against Niagara earlier in November. Only four post players for this team. So big key for LSU as they hit SEC play, keep everybody healthy. Yeah, Smith was starting season-ending knee back around Thanksgiving in the Cayman Islands. So Morrow's day is done. She had a double-double along with Angel Reese. Del Rosario, a little bit too strong, so she puts it up again. The only thing disappointing with that first miss was that was a heck of a pass by Velez. You see 8.7 rebounds for Del Rosario. LSU on the cusp of winning its 11th straight game. 
Now we see Dean. She's got some gauze in her nose. Remember, she got hit earlier in this quarter. Oh, Flo J. Johnson can play basketball. What a finish. That is the third, like, jaw-dropping play we've seen from her on offense today. Well, my jaw's still trying yeah, to come yeah. up <laughs> off of that move. But, I mean, there are layups and there are flagellate. Yeah. I mean, like, it's just amazing what this young lady can do with the ball in her hands. Well, inside two minutes, and there's a foul on Bartlett. Coach Stark, who says, what the what? Now, Blodje Johnson, as she leaves the court, kind of gesturing the crowd to keep the noise going. But Johnson, let's take a look. At well, Flaze Johnson with 13 points, and six of them have been just award-winning plays. Her ability not just to create, but just smooth with the finish. And she finished with her left hand on that play. Dean at the line. Okay, LSU up by 43, and the fans are as engaged as if they're only up by a point. They saw their head coach get ejected about three minutes ago. Well, even before the national championship, that is one thing. Kim Mulkey has built this program back up to where it should be. National contenders, but the attendance, the impact she has had on the Baton Rouge community. They come out and they support this team every game. She was concerned, Coach Mulkey was, that with a 3 o'clock start today and the Northwestern State coming in with all due respect to them that maybe the attendance would be down, but it's another great crowd. Some have left the building. Shot clock winding down, and Tomway got blocked by Bartlett. But, yes, they sold sold out their season tickets, over 9,700 season tickets. This is a tough ticket in town. They had a book signing yesterday, and people stood out in the rain for two and a half hours to get books signed by Kim and a couple of players. Kim says to their sports information director yesterday morning, I just have to be there an hour, right? <laughs> and I remember I rolled my eyes, and I'm like, there's no way you're getting out yeah. of there in an hour. Little no-look pass, another foul with a minute two left to go in the ball game. We talk a lot about Del Rosario, but I think Velez is going to be so big with this program in the future. Her playmaking ability and her on-ball defense is what's really impressed me as well. Defense is always a way to warm a coach's heart and get you some more playing time. Velez, a freshman from the Bronx, played high school ball at the Webb School in Tennessee, which has produced quite a few athletes. Where she was a Miss Tennessee Basketball Player of the Year in her division last season. We're under a minute to go. LSU with a commanding lead. Northwestern State about to fall to four and six on the season. Prominent part of this fourth quarter, Dane's been running the points. Done a great job for the Demons. In and out. Here comes Velez, of whom you just spoke, bringing the ball up. Del Rosario saying, give me the ball. This is when you know a post has transitioned to college, when they're directing the traffic and saying where the ball should go so they have the advantage down low. Three, no go. Del, Del Rosario with another rebound and a flashy pass inside the Kent. The freshman doing it all. Del Rosario. She has nine rebounds. Reese had 14. Morrow had 14. The LSU chant goes up. And the Tigers win it 81 to 36. Double doubles for both Reese and Morrow. They're going to Baltimore. Angel Reese going to have a heck of a homecoming. And so LSU, the defending champs, take it 81 to 36.
That'll do it for us in Baton Rouge, for Christy thomas Scuddy and our entire great crew here. I'm Pam Ward. As we say so long, the Tigers take it big. Holly Warlick is wearing an award-winning sweater. She, she won the ugly sweater contest, and there's a lot of that going on in the arena tonight, but Holly was maybe the best. I don't know what you might see in the sweater. Oh my God. It's so much better watching the game than folks in all this sweater. I'm not sure. I I mean, the sweater was a mantle. It was a fireplace and a mantle. Why you saying we talking ain't last a week, but you liking my story, you gassing me? Are you going to rap or be an athlete? If I'm still doing both, why you asking me? Real rich when I shop, I need cash receipts. Where you can buy gifts and cash for me. I got the city on my back, I've been having the keys. You can't pay for the feature, though, ask me. Why you saying we talking ain't last a week, but you liking my story, you gassing me? Are you going to rap or be an athlete? If I'm still doing both, why you asking me? Real rich when I shop, I need cash receipts. Wake up and bargain and cash for me. I got the city on my back, I've been having the keys. You can't pay for the feature, though, ask me. Do it, I run it up, feel like the renegade. I got a boom in there, why don't get in the days? I had to mix up just right with the lemonade. If you try me, they coming, I send the game. I'm not an amateur, know me a camera. Just the start of things to come for. Yeah, that's really just the story for the post players for LSU. It, it's Angel Reese getting Morrow's miss, or Morrow get, rebounding an Angel Reese miss. And Flate Johnson, too. She came to play. Indeed. 18 offensive rebounds in the game for LSU to three for Northwestern State. They did control the glass comfortably. Woo! And then with that little crossover, my goodness, Flaje. Flaje, 13 points in the afternoon. And then the steal. Oh, a little no-look pass there to Anisha Morrow from Johnson. I love the unselfish basketball that we saw from LSU today. There's there's a ton of talent, no doubt, on this team, but the fact that they can all share it and be happy for each other and their chemistry is just getting better and better. Yeah, and Angel Reese just had a day. Here we go, a little defense going the other way. Angel Reese, part of a 25-point, 14-rebound day. Taking care of business, turn it over just two times. LSU, no problem. 81 36 over Northwestern State. So, an impressive day, really, for the Tigers in general, holding Northwestern State to 24% from the floor. All right, now, late in the game, Kim Mulkey agitated, goes after an official and eventually finds her way to the locker room with Aola. Home. You know, she got to give the people what they want. Yeah. She's is that still what they coaching want? it up. The, and this is Kim Mulkey, like, through and through. No matter the score, she's always going to be like that. It's She's always been consistent in that regard. My favorite is Angel Reese patting her on the back, you know, to calm her down. But yeah, mm. she's, she was yeah. out. Angel was, kind of had a good hold of her, yeah. too, right? At one point, just trying, coach, stay back, stay back. That happened when they were up 41 points. Right. So, what, what, what's the message there? What do you think? Was it just, was it just, Look, I, I'm a little agitated, so I'm just going to blow a gasket and, and literally give everybody in this building just a little bit of the heat that I can provide. Now, I, I looked at it as, you know, we've got a young team at certain positions. We're trying to find a chemistry. Look at my intensity. It never drops regardless of the score. And so you want your players to mimic your mm -hmm. intensity and, and, and it never drops off. For Kim Oki. And so if you're a player, a young player, and you're you, you see the score, Dari, and you're like, oh, you know, we're up by yeah, 40 points, yeah. and you see your coach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, Got to snap yeah. back into it and, and stay engaged in the game. So, you know, I, I thought it was just, hey, I'm never going to not be engaged in the game, so I want my players to always stay engaged. We had an interesting conversation, I thought, off the air about, I, I, I kind of asked you, I said, who do you like more, South Carolina or LSU, right? And if I can share your answer. Sure, here, sure, you, yeah. You said South Carolina, but you kind of talked about how it's a role reversal from a year ago. Right. Right. When you, because I think that's what much of the country is going to do is kind of compare these two. Well, no doubt. I mean, they're obviously final four teams, in my opinion, but LSU last year wasn't expected to win it. South Carolina was. This year coming into the conversation was LSU. Oh, they need to repeat as national championship. National champions, especially if you're getting Haley Van Lith and East Samaro, South Carolina, maybe maybe it's not the year. Maybe they're in a rebuild now. It, so the pressure isn't really on South Carolina. I don't think it's on LSU. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going to be fun heading into uh, February, March, how these two teams take shape. Yeah, they could be the two best teams in the country. Could be. But I know there's plenty of other ones out there uh, as well. All right. How about another team off to a very hot start? That's Shea Ralph. 
and Vanderbilt. Nine and one start to the season second quarter. Up out of pressure, put a hundred on their head. It's about time they gotta respect us. I really need a ten if I'm signing. Ain't nothing less of my mind. It gotta be special. My grind is just so excessive. Uh, they be talking down, but I don't ever let it get to me. Came to LSU my freshman year and we made history. I was trying to wait and serve the game. They wasn't tipping me. Soundtrack of my life and I'm just conducting the symphony. Balling this ain't winning. Uh, Billy Windows tenant. Uh, working on my image. Uh, up in my percentage. Put the pendant on the trophy. You ain't winning. Don't approach me. Pull up courtside in the crazy fit. I look like Moki. Uh, I just hit a milli. My bank account looking silly i'm hitting them like the phillies the coldest flow in the city like john Moran, i'm like gritty i've never asked for a penny i'm blocking them like i'm jenny ain't no me man it's just send me i'm like get away to hibernate they let the beast outside the cage ain't try to play they counting me out i feel some type of way keep making up stories i'm like which one they gonna write today keep switching these fours i'm like which one i'm gonna like today on oh, god <laughs> yeah biggest phone yeah 